The Grand Prix 2 Plus 2 was a homologation special, meaning that it had to be sold to the public in order to qualify for NASCAR racing. Pontiac only made 1,225 units of the car, making it very rare and collectible today. The vehicle was nicknamed the Aero Coupe because of its unique rear window, which was similar to the one used by Chevrolet on its Monte Carlo SS Aero Coupe. The 2 Plus 2 was a result of GM's efforts to compete with Ford Thunderbird, which had an advantage on the oval tracks. The 2 Plus 2 was powered by a 5-liter V8 engine that delivered 165 horsepower and 245 pound-feet of torque. It was paired with a 4-speed automatic transmission with a rear-wheel drive layout. The car could sprint from 0 to 60 in 10.2 seconds and run the quarter mile in 17.6 seconds. The Grand Prix 2 Plus 2 and the Monte Carlo SS Aero Coupe were GM's response to Ford's challenge, but they were unsuccessful on the track. They were also not very popular with customers, who preferred the more conventional styling of the regular Grand Prix and Monte Carlo. The 1977 Can-Am was a special edition option package for the Le Mans Coupe. It was introduced in January 1977 at the North American International Auto Show in Detroit. The brainchild of Jim Wangers, Pontiac's chief marketing manager, the Can-Am's main purpose was to revive the spirit of the iconic GTO. Wangers chose the Pontiac 400 V8 engine as the standard power plant for the Can-Am as it was the same engine used in the Trans Am and rated at 200 horsepower. He also wanted to offer a four-speed manual transmission as an option, but Pontiac did not approve it as it would require additional certification and testing. Therefore, all Can-Ams came with a three-speed automatic transmission by default. The Can-Ams production was short-lived, as Pontiac stopped making it after only six months, only 1,377 Can-Ams were produced, 42 of which are said to have had Olds 403 engines, leaving 1,335 Can-Ams with Pontiac 400 engines. However, Wangers believes that the actual number is lower, at 1,133 units. The 1973 Pontiac Firebird SD455 was a legendary muscle car that was born out of Pontiac's racing heritage and engineering prowess. It was one of the last expressions of the Super Duty engine that had dominated the drag strips and the NASCAR tracks in the 1960s. Some tests showed that the SD455 could produce over 370 horsepower and over 500 pound-feet of torque. It was also capable of impressive acceleration and speed, reaching 0 to 60 in just 5.4 seconds and completing the quarter mile in 13.54 seconds. In 1973, there were 43 Firebird formulas and 252 Trans Ams produced, of which only 72 had a four-speed manual transmission. The low production numbers were partly due to the oil crisis and the emission regulations that reduced the demand and availability of such cars. The Judge was a high-performance package that was introduced in 1969 as a response to the success of the Plymouth Roadrunner. The name was inspired by a famous comedy sketch on the TV show Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In, where the catch horsepower phrase, Here Comes the Judge, was used. Here comes the Judge! Here comes the Judge! Here comes the Judge! The 1971 Judge is a rare and iconic muscle car representing the final year of the Judge option. It was powered by the top-of-the-line 455-335 horses HO 4-barrel V8 engine with functional ram air feeding into a dual snorkel air cleaner and exhaling through a dual exhaust system. Due to declining sales and stricter emissions standards, Pontiac decided to discontinue the judge option after 1971. Only 357 judges were produced in 1971, of which only 17 were convertibles. This puts it on equal footing in the rarity stakes with such luminous and legendary muscle cars as the 1971 Plymouth Hemi Cuda convertibles. The 
The 1962 Pontiac Grand Prix Super Duty was a rare and powerful car that was built for racing and luxury. It was one of the first muscle cars from Pontiac, and it had a 421 cubic inch V8 engine with two four-barrel carburetors that produced 405 horsepower, but some sources claim it actually made around 465 horses. The 421 was backed by a four-speed manual transmission, or an automatic was optional that fed power to a 10-bolt rear differential. Only 16 copies of the Grand Prix Super Duty left the factory, due in no small part to the SD option adding $2,250 to the base sticker price of $3,490. The 1963 Catalina Swiss Cheese is a rare and legendary car that was built for drag racing. It got its name from the many holes that were drilled into its frame and body to reduce weight and increase speed. It had a 421 Super Duty V8 engine with high compression pistons, a special camshaft, lightweight valves, reworked heads, and a heavy-duty rotating assembly. The engine was rated at 410 horsepower, but it was probably much more than that. Only 14 Swiss cheese Catalinas were built in 1963, before General Motors banned racing activities for all its divisions. The most famous one was driven by Howard Mazel, who worked for Packer Pontiac of Detroit. In its day, this car ran the quarter mile in 11.73 seconds at 118 miles per hour, good enough for a national NHRA Superstock record. The Pontiac Firebird Trans Am was introduced to the world in 1969. It was designed to compete with the Ford Mustang and Chevrolet Camaro in the pony car segment. The Trans Am was also influenced by European sports cars, as it featured a special Ram air hood, a deck lid spoiler, and a refined suspension system. The Trans Am was powered by a 400 cubic inch V8 engine, producing 335 horses and 430 pound-feet of torque. The car was painted in cameo ivory with Tyrol blue stripes, giving it a distinctive look. In 1969, Pontiac produced 697 Firebird Trans Ams, but only eight were convertibles, making them extremely scarce and valuable today. These rare and powerful cars have a market value ranging from $1.5 to $2 million. In 1963, Pontiac decided to take the Super Duty program to the next level by creating a new performance package for the Tempest. This compact car had a unique rear-mounted transaxle for better weight distribution and traction. The Tempest was also lighter than the full-size models, making it ideal for drag racing. Pontiac engineers bored out the 389 V8 engine to 421 cubic inches and added dual four-barrel carburetors aluminum intake manifold, high-compression pistons, solid lifter camshaft, and aluminum exhaust headers. The result was a monster engine that could deliver up to 500 horsepower. It needed just 11.93 seconds to cover the quarter mile, setting an AFX class record and earning the car the title of World's Fastest Tempest. Pontiac built six 421 Super Duty Tempest Coupes for Superstock and AFX competition. They also made six 421 Super Duty Tempest wagons for SS Racing, 